Okay, so continuing on here with our bone development and growth. So I, I started this uh, uh, briefly from the previous uh, uh, lecture and now I'm going to be talking about them much, much more in detail. So when we talk about bone growth and development, we are specifically talking about ossification. So this is the formation of the bone itself. So bones are going to form during embryonic development. So meaning when the fetus is still, development, is still developing inside the mother's womb in two distinct ways. One of them is your intramembranous ossification. The other one here is your endochondral ossification. So what are these types of ossifications here? So intramembranous over here. So just like what it's, uh, just like the word says intra. So intra meaning inside, right? So this will form the flat bones such as the bones of the skull, for example. Bones develop between sheets of fibrous connective tissues. And we'll see this an example on the previous slide, uh, on the uh, next few slides here. Osteoblast in the preosteum. So try to recall where the preosteum is right here. And try to recall what the function of osteoblast is. Carry out the further ossification. It will eventually form the trabeculae, okay, and fuse into compact bone surrounding the spongy bone inside. So let's take a look at it over here. So the other, uh, sorry guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I had it here, but uh, I guess not. So anyway, so let me just uh, give you guys a sketch over here. So this intramembranous ossification over here, this is flat bones. So basically what happens over here is you have your osteoblast that is now going to uh, further uh, carry out the ossification over here. So try to recall if this is the surface of the bone from the outside and this is the surface of the bone from the inside right over here. Okay. So the skull bones, for example. So this would be where the brain is, right over here. So what's happening over here is that it will contain, so intramembranous ossification here, forming your flat bones. Bones develop between sheets of fibrous connective tissues. So these would be the fibrous connective tissues over here. And then at the periosteum right here, okay, this contains your osteoblasts. And these osteoblasts over here, they are going to further, right, form the ossification over here, ultimately creating the trabeculae, which is going to be sandwiched between a compact bone right here and a compact bone right over here. So that is uh, your intramembranous ossification. You compare that to the endochondral ossification, which is going to form most bones in our body, like long bones, for example, over here. You have the calcified bone matrix replacing the hyaline cartilage models. So this one is basically uh, creating a model first of the bone before it becomes calcified. So bone formation spreads from the center of the bone to the end. So what do you mean by that? So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure of your endochondral ossification here. So here is now your endochondral ossification. So this is your cartilage right here. This is the mold basically that is going to become a bone, right? So specifically a long bone. So now we could see it over here, a cartilage and then now, as it elongates, now it's creating the compact bone color right over here. So the ossification is starting at the center right over here of this cartilage. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, ossification starting here at the center of this cartilage right over here. And as it elongates, now you have the calcification in the middle over here. And it will continue to contain this cartilage at the ends right over here at the epiphysis specifically, right? So the epiphysis will still have this cartilages over here. And this area right over here that we see, this becomes your epiphyseal plate right here. And as time goes on, now you have the epiphysis right here that is going to become calcified. But what remains, as you can see over here, as a cartilage, this end and this end right over here, so now you have a bone and a bone right over here, sandwiching this cartilage. This is now your epiphyseal growth plates. So that is your endochondral ossification. So in general, what I want you to think about uh, the uh, about endochondral ossification is that the bone is going to, okay, uh, sorry, the cartilage is going to become calcified starting from the center, okay, and then going outwards, right? So that's your endochondral ossification. Next one here. So this is now the epiphyseal plate. So what I want you to know about the epiphyseal plate, this is the part of the bone that is going to continue 
to grow in a male that is uh sorry in a male that is less than the age of 25 years old okay every facial plate will continue to grow in a female that is less than oh sorry 21 not 25 21 years of age so 21 years of age in the female that is 18 years of age so that is uh, the epiphyseal plate right over here so this is now your clinical uh, correlation here so if a physician for example is looking at an x-ray of a long bone and they see that this x-ray belongs to a male for example and epiphyseal plate is still present then they know that this is less than 21 years old individual this is a less than 21 years old individual so now let's take a look at this epiphyseal plate right over here so, we have four layers. So, when we talk about the epiphyseal plates, we have four layers. The layer nearest the epiphysis is the resting zone. Okay? So, here is your epiphyseal growth plate. Here is your articular cartilage. So, just giving us the, um, uh, the orientation over here. And here is the epiphysis right over here. Try to recall the diaphysis, where the diaphysis and the epiphysis meets. This is known as your meta physis right metaphysis so that's what we have there and as you can see the arrows over here now the bone is going to grow not this way but basically it's going to deposit more bones at the bottom right over here okay so here is now what it would look like here is your epiphysis once again and this is our epiphyseal growth plate basically that's what we have right over here okay so epiphyseal growth plate so what we are looking at over here is now the layers the four layers so you have the resting zone so this is the um, nearest to the uh, epiphysis right over here or the most superior on this uh, figure right here that we have okay and then you have the proliferating zone proliferating meaning they're just dividing right over here okay so as they are dividing right over here so this would be the young ones and this one would be comes the older ones right over here and as they become uh, as they become older, they now form your degenerating zone right over here. Okay? And then that's your, that is now your third layer, degenerating zone. So the cartilage cells are now dying off. Okay? Proliferating zone, that's your second layer right over here. This is where the chondrocytes are producing new cartilage cells. So remember, chondrocytes produces cartilage, osteocytes produces bone. Okay? And then finally, the fourth and the last layer right over here, which is the ossification zone. This is now the bone forming, which increases the length of the bone. So that is the epiphyseal plate containing four layers and how the bone is actually going to grow. When a person now reaches, if it's a male, greater than 25 years of age, okay, or female, greater than 18 years, years of age then this epiphyseal plate okay so i'll just call it ep okay epiphyseal plate this epiphyseal plate is now going to be replaced by epiphyseal line okay i'll call it el so epiphyseal plate forming or being replaced by a epiphyseal line so epiphyseal plate would be less than 25 for the uh, may uh, what do I keep saying 25 I'm sorry guys I'm sorry less than 21 okay sorry about that less than 21 in the male less than 21 okay in the male that would be the presence of the epiphyseal plate less than 18 in the female that would be the presence of epiphyseal plate so when they reach greater than the age of 21 years of age then it becomes epiphyseal line greater than 21 greater than 18 in the female they become epiphyseal line again my apologies about this 25 years old here so it's 21 for the uh for the male and 18 for the female so that is our epiphyseal plate turning into epiphyseal line next slide here shows us the hormones that's affecting the bone growth such as vitamin d for example the growth hormones and so on and so forth and i will continue this in our series of our lecture.